Here we have a beam with a spring support in the middle. We are told that the spring has a stiffness of uh, one millimeter every 10 kilonewtons acting on it. If the beam has EI of 10, 50 times, I think that should say 10 to the six newton meter squared rather than 50 times 106. So 50 times 10 to the six newton meter squared. What is the downward displacement of the spring? So, first of all, we've got this uh, redundant structure. We've got three supports and um, uh, three reactions. So, uh, yeah, we've got we've got three unknowns. Anyway, so this is going to be, rely on virtual work equations. So, first of all, how the hell do we do this? So, you, we need to separate the spring from the rest of the system. We work with, imagine we've got this system, 250 kilonewtons coming down, and that's three meters each side. So in this statically determinate system, the deflection is equal to PL cubed over 48 e i so let's do let's work this out then so we've got uh let's use meters uh, yes because we've got e i in terms of newtons and meters okay so newtons and meters we want to use p is 250000 times l which is this entire span so that's going to be 6 cubed over 48 times E, which I think we're given. Uh, EI is given, okay, so 50 times 10 to the 6. Newton meter squared. Okay, so D is equal to 250,000 times 6 cubed divided by 48 divide that through by 50 times 10 to the power of 6. D is equal to 0 0.0225 meters. Okay, you've got to keep track of the units. It's very easy to trip over yourself if you don't remember the units. Okay, now let's bring the spring back into the equation slightly. Just put that there. And we've got this new system where we've got a spring now our reactions are going to go downwards because we want to equate this force going upwards uh, and that force is VB so let's just so let me just draw that in VA VB VC so VB similarly so that's D uh, that's D to due to the force so I'm going to call this one delta rather than d okay so the similar equation delta is equal to pl cubed over 48 e i um, vb is the force due to the compression of the spring okay so we've got in in the hooks laws so we've got f is equal to kx k is the stiffness of the spring and x is the deflection so the displacement of the spring K we're given, now watch the units here, because this is um, newtons is equal to something times meters. Okay, so this has to be uh, newtons per meter. So force divided by length. What do we have? We're told the spring displaces downward by one millimeter for every 10 kilonewtons. So one, so we need to, first of all, we need to flip it around. So we've got 10 kilonewtons per 0 0.001 meters and that needs to also be 10,000 newtons per 0 0.001 meters which is then equal to 10 times 10 to the 6 newtons per meter okay so k k here is 10 times 10 to the 6 newtons per meter good so we have 
Um, why did I bring that up? Because um, we don't know what VB is, but we do know what these um, stiffnesses and deflections are. So instead of P here, I'm going to write D delta is equal to K, which is which we know, X times L to the three over forty eight E I. E I is of the of the beam. Okay, so we can work this out. D delta is equal to ten times ten to the six times X times uh, six cubed over. 48 times 50 times 10 to the 6. Yep. That 10 to the 6 will cancel. So let me do that different color. Cancel and cancel. So delta is equal to 6 cubed is 216 times 10 divided by 48 and again by 50. Delta is equal to 0 0.9x. Okay, so why have I just done all of that? When we go back to the real system, I'm going to, I'm going to um, look at the halfway point here. Okay, so we've got this free body diagram. Sorry, let me uh, shift this a little bit. Okay, when we calculated all of this, we had this deflection, which is due to no supports down there. So you can imagine, um, uh, why have I just done that? Why have I drawn this? So I need an extra line here. I'm gonna make this one, uh, this one a dashed line. Okay, so D, this is our D value. This is the theoretical where if we had no support, it would deflect all the way down there. We have this small D there, which is, um, which is this value, 0.9x. That's the, um, that's the amount the spring pushes back by. And then we've got our final one, which I'm gonna call big delta and that's um, delta well we can equate that so um, delta and delta is uh, is the actual um, delta is the actual displacement of the spring okay so actually let me just uh, let me write this in let me write this so we've got we've got the situation of delta is equal to d minus small delta. Delta, see like if we, if I draw the spring here, and we push this down by a certain amount, that delta is equal to our x value is the is the real compression of the spring, um, but we've got to be careful with the signs. Okay, so um, because um, we want upwards positive and downwards negative, so actually that x that I've just drawn there should be a negative because that's gone downwards. Okay, so delta is equal to negative x. D is a D the theoretical value where there was no support. That needs to be negative as well because that's a downwards deflection. So minus 0 0.0225 meters. This small delta is um, is a theoretical upwards deflection. Remember here, 
this is when we when we um, try to equate the virtual work this um, this virtual deflection due to the reaction that delta is an upwards defle uh, deflection so plus 0 0.9 x so we can actually write this uh, we can solve this we've got 1.9 x is equal to minus 0 0.0225 therefore x is equal to minus 0 0.0118 meters or 11.8 millimeters downwards and I think that solves the question what is the downward displacement of the spring. Here is our answer.